So as usual, we're given the, the random variable x in tens of hours with the following property density function. Okay, so it's all copied out here. Now let's evaluate b. So find the property that the random variable x is greater than 2.5. So the only way to do this, firstly, is to use algebraic integration. Why? Because we're working with continuous values. So this is a range. So we need to find the time when x is bigger than 2.5. Well, the only way it goes up to is that we start from 2.5 and it goes all the way up to the limit, 4. So that's, what, that's exactly what we're integrating. So we can say that the solution b is simply going to be the integral of the density function from 2.5 to the highest limit, which is 4, and dx. That's it. So we just pick this value 1 over 9 times x, 4 minus x, and just plug in and solve and just integrate. Very easy. So it's going to be, firstly, because you got one, I'll, I'll show you a nice trick. If you got 1 over 9, just whip outside like you did for part A. Pop it outside and you're going to have 2.5 to 4. Simplify this, this uh, part. So x times 4 minus x would be 4x minus x squared dx. And this part is fine now. So let's do it. So this is going to give us now, so integrating all of this, we should get, so 4x becomes 4x squared over 2, 4, 4 over 2 cancels out, so you get 2x squared minus x cubed over 3. And, and you're going to evaluate from 2.5 to 4. So, yeah, that's all we do. So firstly, plug in 4, find the value, then plug in 2.5, find another value, and you should get 3 over 8. And voila, that's it guys. Hope this helps. And let's move on to the next one. So here we have a radio that runs using two of these batteries. Okay, so let's just keep that in mind. So if they're using two batteries, it looks like we need to use two different properties, maybe. So both of which must be working. Two fully charged batteries are put into the radio. So part C, find the property that the radio will be working after 25 hours use. So one thing to know here, yeah? when they say 25 hours use, recall that the, the, the random variable X is measured in tens of hours. So this probability for part B, x grade 2.5, that's measured in 10, so it'll be actually, in, re in reality, this is 25 hours. So in fact, this statement here is the same as x greater than 2.5. And now, because we're using two batteries, this means that the solution for part C means we need two of them. So probability x greater than 2.5 times probability x greater than 2.5. So we need both, both of these happening. And well, we know the solution for both. This is 3 over 8, and of course, this is 3 over 8. So multiplying them out, you should get 9 over 64. Very easy problem. Very easy. 